the streets were lined with people who were applauding us mm -hmm. as we were marching. It was an unbelievable feeling, a feeling that really told us that what we were doing was right. What do you hope this demonstration will accomplish? Well, it's, it'll show to the public just how solid the miners are still behind the struggle for the fight for the higher wages. I remember John uh, coming and interviewing me at that time, comparing the mine workers of America, especially in the Appalachians, and the mine workers of South Wales. John Gaventa started making videotapes of the strikes that were going on in the 1970s in Wales. And he brought these tapes and showed them to my students at Clinch Valley College in the coal fields of Virginia. And so that was kind of the, how it all started. Yeah, we're from the States, and this is for miners in America. Um, oh, America? Yeah. Oh, is it? Do you think yes, the strike was successful for you? I believe so. Partially? Partially, yes. I got this thought that I would really like to see coal mining in other countries and see if there was such a thing as a coal mining culture separate from sort of the national culture, whether it was, you know, England or Wales or Appalachia or South Africa or wherever it might be. At the same time, a young Welshman, Richard Great Rex, was a friend of John's and he offered to do the filmmaking for us. And practically every weekend, John would come from Oxford and the three of us would start interviewing uh, the people. By that time, friends from the United States were beginning to come over to visit, including Hazel Dickens, Mike Seeger, and the Strange Creek singers. I talked to them into stopping up by and, and singing in the miners' club. I think what we did with these films is, is really document the last generation of, of those communities as real mining communities. Because all the mines were closed, I mean, they had to deal with after coal really before we, and we still are not willing to sort of deal with what you do when all the mines are closed. Blues and more blues, it's that 